Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Camargue in the south of France. We have seen incredible free living flamingos, beautiful Camargue horses, impressive Camargue bulls, and a popular kitesurf spot on the Plage du Pimasson. The Camargue is huge, and depending on the definition, it's between 600 and 1500 square kilometers large, and it lies between the two arms of the Rhone Delta. As we've only had one day to spend, we've uh, concentrated on a trail south of a town called Le Sambuc, on uh, which we have not only seen our highlight, uh, free living flamingos, but also Camargue bulls, horses, and also the leftovers of the uh, salt industry in Salins de Giraud. A touristic highlight of the Camargue are the wild living herds of white Camargue horses which are living kind of free but still belong to a farmer. They are middle-sized horses and there are roughly 150 stallions and 950 female horses, which is a good mix for the stallions, I suppose. The national park is beautiful and we really did feel like on a safari in South Africa while driving, so always watch out and you may as well be lucky and see anywhere beautiful animals such as these flamingos which were not exactly in the area where we would have expected them, but uh, they were the first ones we've seen, we were extremely uh, lucky and uh, happy about that. After a while you start to see the leftovers of the former salt industry at Salin de Giraud. You should definitely make sure to stop at the salt pan observation point. The view you have on top of this little hill is just stunning. It combines the colors of the pink lake, the blue river and the white of the salt very impressive. Some of you have probably heard of Fleur de Sel, which is being made here and can be found in many supermarkets around the globe. And a part of the, I call them, random flamingos we've seen before, we've finally seen the desired flamingos, which are living as the largest wild living flamingos in Europe here. Depending on the time of the year, there are around 15,000 in the Camargue. They're extremely spectacular and it's such a privilege to see them here. Apparently the color of their feathers depend on the food they eat. We've been quite lucky and have seen a little herd of 20 to 30 animals flying through the wind and merging up with this larger group of approximately 100 animals. It's been such a pleasure to see these graceful animals fly and land in the windy sea. Apparently in this area there are some red crabs which they're eating as well. Hope also found the mouse bone of a flamingo, which I suppose is nature as well as a flamingo eating the poor little crab. Not only the dog had fun investigating the mouse bone of the uh, flamingo, but also Papa Dog. The last destination on our day trip was the uh, Plage de Plémanson, which had at the time of our visit a huge run of kite surfers. And it's been extremely windy in the entire national park over the entire day, so I assume these guys here had ideal circumstances for their spot. On our way back we got lucky once again, have seen the third group of wild living flamingos, which once again were a privilege to watch. While we were just about to leave the national park, we have also seen these impressive and massive Camargue bulls which are living also wild in relatively large herds, but they still belong to farmers. As far as I'm aware, they either end up as gourmet food or they participate to, as far as I'm aware again, not bloody bullfights. You should also watch out for other things, such as these amazing fields of sunflowers. 
In our last video on this channel we have illustrated one of France's most beautiful villages Lausanne which you will also find in the end card and the next video on this channel will be a video about the Pont du Gard. The Camargue is a brilliant place to visit and if you have the time it's probably worth to spend some more days but a full day will probably give you quite good impression. Please share this video, leave a like and a comment if you have seen any other parts of the Camargue and have a good advice for the viewers which other regions they may should watch. And also consider hitting the subscribe button for future adventures. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.